Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. <laughs> I positive my family. You guys are welcome here. So on today's episode, we're going to be having a street talk. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. I'm finally having this discussion with you guys. I'm going to be sharing my personal experience with the positive vibe family, with the new subscribers, and with all the viewers who are watching right now. So I hope and I pray <laughs> that you guys can get one or two uh, points from it. So guys, you know, I was just thinking about how time. Oh my God! You know, I was just thinking about how time flies. I still remember my my um, 17 years old birthday, <laughs> and it was I was 19 when I did one birthday party. That birthday party, <laughs> it's still fresh in my memories. <laughs> but now I'm not that 19 years old girl anymore. A lot of water has crossed the river <laughs> and I thank God for his grace so guys I'm going to be sharing with you guys time balancing you know it was a thought that I've, all, I've been thinking of this topic but I'm happy that the thought the idea finally came today and I said okay let's share it so let's get right into it now a lot of time is being wasted <laughs> so as I was saying you know, while I was, um, I, I think I, this actually um, got to me when I when I was when I became a new mom. When I got married, you know, there was a lot of changes. You know, a lot of changes. Had of in a, in a scale of hundred, at least let me say um, fifty percent. There was a fifty percent change. You know, I was not that young lady that. If I'm going to another state or another country or anywhere, I just pick up my bag and say, hey, while I'm in Nigeria, I'm going to Lagos right now. <laughs> As a young girl, I just pack my things and I roll. But when I got married, I was not committed to someone. I needed to discuss with someone. Someone had to grant my, grant my words now. <laughs> So I have to grant whatever I want to do and sign before I do it. So I was no longer just the owner of myself. So, <laughs> so that was what happened. So I, the body heat was there, but it wasn't that. I, I and MP were best of friends. So it was still like, okay, it's me now. We be, you know. <laughs> but when I gave birth, hey, <laughs> the whole game changed and completely everything changed because it was as if the baby was not in control of my life i can't move anywhere without the baby i can't do anything without the baby i have to think of baby 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 you know and that just consumed that just consumed my time everything about me you know it was babies first and uh, and um um I, I remember then i was still uh, you know, um, then I was still working, you know, I was still running my five to my um, nine to five job and there are sometimes I'll be, I'll, I'll, there are sometimes that I'm supposed to go for training. I have to think about my baby. Maybe probably I need to travel to another state so I have to get somebody who will stay with the baby while I'm in the hotel room because I can't leave the baby in one state and travel so I still have to go to the, with the baby and I can't take the baby to the training, to the venue. So. I remember those times that I still have to look for someone to help me hold the baby. So everything was just baby, baby, baby. And I got to realize this when my daughter eventually started school, when she was three years old. Then I realized that, ha, huh, what I've become of D. <laughs> you know, so everything about me was just baby. Everything I discussed, everything, my time, you know, everything. And... I had to start learning how to um, reorganize myself, how to balance me, and that was that was really um, something that I had to learn the hard way. So I, I, I had to start learning how fresh, how to balance things. You know, there are sometimes that I even have, I need to have time for me. 
you know you know there are sometimes kids they want to play with you they want to be with you all the time you know i have to learn that no baby this is time for you to play alone with your toys or this is the time for you to um do your assignment this is the time for me to stay with me do you get this is the time for me to stay with hempy this is the time for me to exercise this is the time for me to eat you know this is the time for me to do things you know i have to start now learning how to balance things you know in life most of the time it happens to us that we just get choked up with a, in a particular thing you know it might even be a job you know there are some husbands that are so engrossed with their job that <laughs> They can't even remember anything else. And sometimes it might even be our phone. You know, I have to learn that. I have to learn that sometimes I have to shift my phone away from me. Or I'll switch it off. You know, I have to start learning how to balance things. I have to learn time to talk with people, meet with anger with my friends. You know? So these were the things. And they are very important. You know, sometimes we might neglect some things. I say, oh, it's my studies. I need to... Um, concentrate on my studies uh, I need to pass my exam why other things have been neglected you know at the end of the day when you pass the exam and other things suffers it might even be the children you know kids what they value more in their life is that little time that you used to play with them that little time that they can ask you questions and you have answers to all their questions that little time that you tell they will tell you I want to tell you something and you might not be able to buy those time back by the time you end, it, end, end up finishing your school. So, balancing is very important. There are some people that even go into depression because they don't know how to balance, balance things up, even in their life. There are some people who have heart attack, you know, have some certain kind of sickness because they lack balancing things. They lack because they lack how to balance things. So you, even in the Bible, the Bible says there's time for Mary, there's time to joy, there's time to party. You know, there are time for everything. And learning this, you know, there are some husbands that say, huh, I'm looking for the money for the family, you know. So I have to, I have to close late so that the family can feed. But the family that you are trying to also feed needs your time. It needs your time. So this was the things I had to learn. I had to learn it the hard way because it was actually affecting everything about me. So the extent I didn't even remember myself anymore. And I'm happy that I was able to make those adjustments. I was able to know the time for... I had to learn. You know, I had to learn. I had to ask questions, even from my friends. How do you do these things? You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do... If, I, the, and the most important one that I enjoyed most was that family time at the, at the dining. You know, oh my God. I had to start doing uh, family time, you know. The time everybody sits together, take breakfast. If it's um, weekend, we eat together. And if for adventure, everybody, nobody goes to work, it's a public holiday, oh my God. Three hours, everybody has to spend it together. You know, time to pray, time to build your spiritual life, even time to study God's word, time to read. You know, these are things that are very vital. You know, when you put your concentration in just one aspect of your life and every other thing suffers, man, time is going to reflect it out. <laughs> so this is a little story of mine, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Balancing. You know, balance everything. Even in your relationship, balance it up. Hmm? There's time for every everything. There's time for shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this episode. This short true life story of mine. This is like, um, what's the time now? This is like, this is 9.45 p.m. at night. And I'm having an evening talk with the positive family. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Please let me know. Let me know your experience in the comment section. Those things you um, had challenges with, you struggled with, that you have to learn it the hard way. Or the things you're already doing and you're enjoying it. Please let us know so that we can learn. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>